Hey guys, so I'm currently at the bus stop waiting for my track net shuttle at Safer Parking. Today, I am starting my four day Kepler track. So I am just now starting the Kepler track. It's gonna be four days hiking and staying in backcountry huts. This is the only track that's open right now. It's been raining like absolutely crazy here. So Milford is completely shut down. So I'm really glad that <laughs> I booked the Kepler track for these dates because it's actually a beautiful day outside. But yeah, let's do this. About an hour and a half into the hike, day one is the hardest day, it looks like. Basically about six hours to the top, but it's pretty much all uphill. So day one is pretty much entirely uphill, and then it does get easier from there, it seems like, um, for the next three days. But yeah, so far it's going pretty good. I'll see you guys when I get a little more above the bush line. Yeah, <laughs> that was a really tough three and a half hours. Man, <laughs> but I made it above the bush line. So I get this awesome view of Lake Tana and I've only got 45 minutes to my hut. I already can't remember the name of it. <laughs> but this is by far the coolest hut I've ever stayed in, in New Zealand. I mean, I've only ever stayed in three others. <laughs> the view here is amazing. And yeah, I'm just really excited to eat breakfast out on this patio here tomorrow. <laughs> and it's gorgeous. track so I'm gonna go up to the Luxmore summit before continuing on the track uh, so I'll see you guys up there I did it <laughs> I'm at the very highest point of the Kepler track it's absolutely stunning. So beautiful. I just literally sat here for like 45 minutes to an hour and ate lunch. It was amazing. I thought day one was going to be the best day, but so far day two is freaking killing it. And the nice thing now is like I just have like one more, according to the map anyways, I just have like one more little like uphill, maybe 45 minutes. And then it's very literally all downhill from there for the rest of the track for the next two days. Uh, so I just get to enjoy the views and not die. little uphill stint 
is actually two hours and it's really hard. pretty it's in a nice like meadow <laughs> it's very descriptive <laughs> there's like a 40 minute return trip to the iris burn waterfalls I may not feel like walking but it's so hot I really feel like swimming <laughs> so I'm gonna make the trip what have you got there is that an egg dude Oh my god. Never mind, it's freezing. <laughs> it's freezing. I can't do it. I quit. I quit. Good morning. It is. Hold up. Gotta turn off my music. It is day three of the Kepler track. I think today's supposed to be relatively easy, although I always say that. Today is about a six hour walk through a beach forest, uh, which I originally thought was gonna be boring, but it's actually like really fairy tale green down here, so. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. Not as epic as the first two days, but just a chill, easy walk through the forest. It's been nice. about the epicness of day three. This is the coolest hut I have stayed in so far on my great walks. Look at this view. <laughs> it's a super hot day and I just gotta swim in New Zealand on my last day on my hike. I'm so happy. And everybody's just hanging out on the lawn of the hut and just like sunbathing and listening to music. It's the perfect end to a great walk after all that work. This is a great day. It's a great day. Day four of the Kepler track, just past sunrise. <laughs> just woke up <laughs> like two minutes ago. <laughs> I have a shuttle scheduled for three, but I'm gonna try to actually make the 10 o'clock. So I'm trying to rush out of here.